one of the things that when we're, we're coming into his presence, we want to worship, don't we? We want to worship in unity. There's just something about coming into his presence. And so, Holy Spirit, we just welcome you in this place this morning. Come on. Just begin to tune into him. Just give him all the things of the morning, just the getting up. I know some of you just got out of bed and you ra ran in. But Father, we want to honor you. We want to glorify you. We want to lift our hands up to you. And so, Father, today we want to give you every part of this service. Lord, I thank you for everybody that is here in this room. I thank you for those that are watching on the Internet. But most of all, Holy Spirit, we thank you that you're here. And we welcome you. Just begin to welcome him. Begin to welcome him. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the ones that are on their way, that they would just get here safely. The ones that are away today, Lord, and maybe even watching on the internet right now, we just want to welcome you and just say, thank God you're part of our family this morning. Father, I just pray that you would just come and have your way in this room today. Lord, I thank you for the prayer that has gone on for this service today, Lord. I thank you, Father, that, that in this place that, that, that you're number one. Whoa, you're number one. Father, I thank you for the ones that are sitting around me. How about you just stretch your hands to the, just touch their shoulder gently if it's a, a, appropriate, but Holy Spirit, just come and fill my friend right now. Come and fill them. Come and fill them. Father, we just want to start in unity. Unity in worshiping you. Unity in seeing what you're going to do, Father. I pray that today, as we begin, as we begin our service, Lord, that our eyes would be open to you. Our eyes would be open to you, Lord. We would see what you see. Wow. Lord, I thank you for that incredible gift that you've given us, the ability to see. And so, Father, this morning as we come together, we just honor you. We honor your presence. We honor your presence. Come on, let's just stir it up a little bit. Come on. Sometimes we just have to step into that place. Come on, just worship him. Just begin to, let's just welcome him. Come on, yeah, just clap your hands and welcome the Holy Spirit in this place this morning. Holy Spirit, we love your presence. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for the wave of your presence that is in this place today. We thank you for the healing that is in this place today. We thank you for salvation that is in this place today. We thank you for the word of God that is in this place today. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. Whoa. So I just want to encourage you. Whoa. Hey, just, um, do you want, Christine, do you want to just come across the, just come across for a minute. Just keep focusing on him for a minute. I just feel like he just wants us to wait for a minute. Whoa. She got out of it. Jesus, we honor you in this place. We honor you in this place. We honor you in this place.
Let's just lift it up this morning.
Worship school students wrote just a little while back, which is pretty exciting, right? 
Um, it's about joy. Cause I 
know that I'm found to you And I know that I'm loved by you Because I know that I'm found to you And I know that I'm loved by you Oh, cause I know that I'm found
in your presence. Your presence is all I need. It's all I want and all I see. Without it, without it, there's no me. Your presence is the air I breathe, the song I sing, and the love I lead in without me, without it on no So I will exalt you, Lord. I will exalt you, Lord. There is no like you, God.
Check, check. Um, Dallas, can you get ready to sing that last song, Freedom? Uh, I really feel like the Lord is so in the house today. And he, I just, you know, we just, both of us sensing just healing and that he wants to touch people. And I felt like the Lord was speaking to me. He's saying, I, I felt like I'm saying he wants to set people free from the slavery of sin, from the slavery of darkness. And, you know, there's this freedom that he wants to bring us. Oh, I even feel for people here today that you've just been struggling with something and just feeling, oh, can't quite conquer this. I can't quite get free of this. Or, you know, it's like the one step forward and the two back or the two forward and one back. And, and I, just, I just feel like the Lord's saying, I am here to bring freedom. I am here to bring healing. So Lord, we just want to welcome you and your power and your presence. If you need a, first of all, if you need a physical miracle in your body, just raise your hand right now. Our God is a God of miracles. John, you had a couple words of knowledge from Mark. Few, Come, Lord. We had a few words. Test, test. We had a few words of knowledge. Is there anybody here that has arthritis in your side or your hip, as well as somebody with a hepatitis issue? And there's one more here. Uh, somebody with arthritis in your side, liver issue, as well as hepatitis. If that's you, believe the Lord is here to heal you. If you could just come to the front, please. Father, let your power be poured out. And those of you who don't have your hand raised, pray for somebody. Lay hands on somebody. In the name of Jesus, we speak healing power, healing virtue, flowing into bodies through the power of the blood of Jesus. God, we thank you that you are a, a conqueror over every disease. You forgive our sins. You heal our diseases. Psalm 102 says, God, arthritis bows to the name of Jesus. Liver problems bow to the name of Jesus. Cancer bows to the name of Jesus. There's a lady this morning with stomach problems. Healing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Even infections and colds and viruses bow to the name of Jesus. Michael, let's just have the ministry team come forward and pray for these. If you want to jump up here for healing, the Lord is in the house. His healing power is here. I just keep feeling like him saying, you know, I am so wanting to pour out my power. So, Lord, we want to say yes and come into agreement with that. And for those of you, who, those of you, you, you know that you've just been struggling, struggling, struggling with something to get set free with from that to get set free from that thing whatever it is i just want you to come up here too and join them I'm just gonna pray freedom as we sing this song expect freedom expect healing expect miracles we have a god who longs to pour out his power he paid the price on the cross so Lord, we just say yes, we just say yes, we say yes. Cell leaders, school of ministry, come on up here, lay hands on somebody. Father, we just thank you for your power being poured out. In Jesus' name.
Just come right down here to the middle. If you need to align your life, you need to say yes to Jesus. You need to say yes to him. Come right down here. Come right down here. We say yes. We say yes. We say yes. We say yes. You need to align your life with Jesus. You need to say yes to Jesus. How? Ho, ho, ho. Yes. 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 Maybe you can just make a way. Make a way for those that need to come here to say yes to Jesus. Give your life to Him. For some of you, for the first time, for some of you, it's a rededication. But it is time to align yourself with the living God. To say yes to the living God. To forsake every other thing and there is no demon in hell that can hold you back from knowing Jesus hope and there is no sin so dark to keep you from knowing freedom because he is a God of freedom he died on a cross for our freedom he died on that cross for our freedom ho just come just come and align yourself. Come and say yes. We say yes to you, Jesus. We say yes to you, Jesus. Come on. This is the best decision you could ever make. Say yes to you, Jesus. Come on. We say yes to you, Jesus. Say it. We say yes to you, Jesus. 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 Come on. This is the best. Say yes. Come on. Say yes. Let's all say this together. Let's say, say this together with every person here. And after this, I think we need to break into dance. We need at least five minutes of dance because something is cracking open in the spirit realm. Something is cracking open in the spirit realm. Don't forget that even though the darkness may be getting darker, the light is getting lighter and God is on the move. That song we sang, Christ the Cornerstone, Christ the cornerstone. Every person here, say this with me. That's everybody in the room. Jesus, I say yes to you. I give myself to you. Lead my life. Forgive me of my sin. Forgive me of failing. I want you. I choose you. I say yes to you. I align my life with you. Here I am to serve you. Here I am to love you. For the rest of my life, I say yes in Jesus' name. Come on. Fill them with the fire of your spirit. Fill them with the fire of your love. Fill them. Fill them. Come on. Everybody in this church, it's time. Dance. 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 Let the dancers get up here. Dancers, get up here.
every sin, every slavery to sin, shake it off. Shake it off in the power of Jesus' name. Shake it off. Shake it off in the power of the cross of Christ. Shake it off in the power of the blood of Jesus. Because there is freedom. Because there is stone. 1 Corinthians 3 talks about we build on the foundation of Jesus Christ. He's a sure foundation. He is a sure foundation. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. I just want to repeat, there is no demon in hell that can hold back freedom through Jesus. There is no sin. There's no pit so deep. So this morning, we shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. You know, go get some prayer with somebody, go and confess to somebody, but there is freedom. There is freedom. Do not believe lies that the darkness is too strong or the enemy has got too much of a hold. No, no. Come on, I've been there. I know it. I know freedom in the name of Jesus. I know deliverance in the name of Jesus. And as it applies to us as individuals, it applies to our nation, that God, Jesus is Lord of Canada. Jesus is Lord of Canada. Come on. 